Wendy, for two months. So, um, tomorrow, shelf. Everyone always asks what the go is with the shelf trips and blue water stuff and that. So I'm just gonna go through pretty much all the gear, what we do, and we'll go out there and we'll see how we go. Like a whole rundown. We'll, um, we'll just go through it all. But I'm currently putting new bilge in my boat. Have a look at this thing. So, fingers crossed we'll be ready. They're actually working now, so that's good. Working bilge, can't lose really. But I'm um, gonna head out there. Got the boys coming around the Savo. We'll go through all the gear we're taking, how we use it, and um, come along for the ride. Hopefully you enjoy it, a little bit different. A bit more explaining. And um, should be a good little blue water session. It's pretty cold, so fingers crossed some Wahoo, um, Spanish. Fuck, love a doggy. Get rid of that little monkey off the back. Stay tuned. But, um, so I've got 110 Alemani inverted roller. I've got double flopper shaft in there. This is what I'll use most of the time, like blue water. Uh, I've got a spare slip tip shaft, eight and a half mil, eight and a half mil. I've got my old blue water gun here. It's old, but double roller, eight and a half mil double flopper shaft. And I've just got my normal reef gun. And pole spear, you know, who knows. It's got um, two blue water floats. I run one on the, on the clutch. So I run one of those on the clutch on this, on my float line. And then I run one, so I run one on that sliding clutch there, and then I run one on the end. And then you can just work fish. If you need to work the fish, you can. And then you've got two floats. Like with that marlin I shot, it just sunk a float like nothing. You know, everyone's seen it on things. And these are big floats. Like, you know, that's a big, biggest dive off float. But um, I run both two floats on there. Most of us do the same. And uh, I've got 40 meter float line. Like once you start getting a bit of current there, 40 meters, you're only ever getting 30 probably out of it anyway, unless you're like, you know, bobbing straight down. But, uh, and the sharks there are pretty on fire. So um, we lose shoves all the time. So there's three in that bag. There's another one in the boat for my little gun. And then um, I've got the other roller there, the double roller, just in case something happens. Yeah, I'd rather have more, you know, it's 150 Ks or so. So um, that's the gun selection. Float selection, float lines, they're Neptonic float lines. They, um, we, most of us use those, it's pretty good, except Dusty who's got his big Ulu sub on his reel. He just pumps anything with that thing and hangs on. But yeah, that's what we've got. Flasher, pretty vital piece of equipment, the old flasher. This one's got a bit going on, but we'll take two flashes, always. We always try and take two or three flashes because they just get chomped to pieces by the sharks. Right, we are out here. Got the crew, Dusty. I'm here. It's Dusty Tuesday there. and I'm Benny. on the boat. Yeah. Jeff's here from down south. Let's get it done. So we're at the shelf. Just got here maybe half an hour ago. We're just waiting for the sun to come up. Beautiful sunrise though. Alright. And a, and a lovely trip out, so we'll see how we go. We'll be in there in a second. Hopefully something. We've had a couple of drops there. Oh, a bit of sun, sorry. We've had a couple of drifts there. A um, few spanos. I uh, shot one first drift, you'll see. I'll show that now, and something good is coming.
we had a bit on on that drift. Jeff, now a good spano, he's sitting on the bottom, I seen him. He might give you the story, I don't know what he's like with the story giving. But um, yeah, you're sitting on the bottom, eh? And it just come down the, um, that gutter. Yeah. Yeah. Just came. <laughs> I was just on the bottom. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> the, fish, on camera. the fish come down the gutter. Well, this was the result of that one. Oh, not bad. It um, it's quite heavy. Good teeth on it. Look at the teeth on that bad boy. But uh, just so you can see. Oh. Um, yeah, just drop down. Within like probably 30, I would say. The fish wasn't in 30. The um, the bottom was in 30, and um, he was in about 20, I reckon. 17, maybe. Just under the flasher couple of meters and Oh, the boys are back in. Have a look at the show on the sounder. Sounds like a little bit of commotion. Who knows what it could be. No. Mm. Yeah. Not a bad little doggy. Fuck, they mauled him, mate. Jabbed it, stoned it. Oh, a bit of tail, Jokes mate. Jokes are quick. Jokes are... Oh, and you stoned it too. Yep. Fuck, man. Look at that, quick. Pretty cool. Little pup. Dusty's <laughs> probably going to watch this. He's taking the day off work today. He's missed a doggy and a giant jobby just then. And he was unloaded when the hoo come in. Probably would have been better at work today, Dusty, to be honest. What do we got here, Dusty? Oh! <laughs>
Well, that is us done for the day. Fair bit on, but um, something to watch anyway. The boys, I don't know what Benny's doing out the back there. But <laughs> It's got to be on. How'd you go, Dusty? Mm. Dusty, what are you? I had a shocker today, actually. Shocker. Mr. Doggy, Mr. <gasps> Jobby, Mr. Spanish, and then stoned a good Spanish at the end. So, all right. Not bad. Well, we're back. Here we are. The doggy. Now, oh, such a cool fish. Have a look in there. Like, look at the teeth on that thing. They are proper sharp. But um, pretty cool fish. Obviously, that's how they get the name. Um, we're gonna cut this up and do a bit of sashimi maybe later. And um, but I'm just gonna I'm gonna have a look inside, see where the shaft hit. I'll show you what happened. Um, look at that. How cool was it? It's completely gone. That's fin. So cool. But, um, yeah, the terror of the sea. I've been waiting a long time to shoot one of these and do it in a, my boat in our own backyard. It's pretty epic, I reckon. So, um, they're such a cool fish. Like, so cool. Look at that. It's so crazy. But, um, yeah, we'll chop it up and have a look and see how we go. So what we're doing is we've got Jethro up from down south and he's a bit of a Melbourne tuna. I think he's shot a couple of tuna in his time anyway. And um, he reckons all the, he's over there helping Benny. They're unleashing on the big boat at the moment currently. But um, no fresh water, no water on here. So we're just gonna wipe it down and get it nice and then we'll get into it. I'll give it a go anyway. I'm definitely no tuna killing expert, but we'll give it a shot. Why not? Now I've just caught, I'm just going to quarter it like, you know, most of the fish anyway, but not like a normal fish. I'm just going to cut, I've cut down the spine and I'm going to cut along here. Then I'll go out the bottom way. So hopefully this will peel off once I just trim all these. Bits. So, should, maybe, can get in here a bit more. Oh, into the head a bit. A lot of meat in that head. Look at the meat out of the head. But there we go. Nice dog tooth fill at that one. Look at that. There we go. Oh, there's a lot of meat in that fish, eh? Four of those, hopefully. Well, we've got him all out. It's insane how a lot of belly meat there. Probably might even get into a little bit of that. Maybe try and chop a little bit up for a bit of sashimi or something. But um, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty happy with that. Uh, I'm gonna chop the jaws out. The tail's gonna join the other tails on the wall. And um, thanks very much for watching. Um, like, subscribe if you enjoyed it. You know, the, the jizz. But um, I'll see you all next time.